Good day lads, this is a small update on the PRC-152 radio uh, I want to show off the working menu and actually quite a bit of different features like for example detection of the ply speaking to the radio like you can see right now that I'm transmitting the information through the network and there's an icon and the progress bar that shows um, the amount of power that I'm putting out let's head now to the menu where we can adjust a lot of things for example we can disable the beep if we don't like it because if we leave it, if we leave it on it will remind us that our radio is on every two minutes by beeping uh, it will also mm, beep when the battery will get around 25% or if the radio shuts down or is turned on uh, so we can disable that and then we are left only with uh, sounds of the clicking uh, those buttons next option that we have is power uh, obviously uh, by default you will start with low power mode because you don't want to burn your battery immediately but you can always switch to the high power mode and which allows you to broadcast on a longer range and it will also mm, change the, the progress bar it's not actually a progress bar but let's call it like that and when you are broadcasting it will be full next option is LED um, which is a toggle of the backlight and the current sunlight is pretty bright so it's not very visible but if we switch to darker time you can clearly see that it's working we can also turn it off but it's pretty dark when it's off so let's leave it on next thing that we have is a second transmitter uh, currently in the game there's no real way to disable the second transmitter without removing it so what I'm actually doing when I'm turning it off is setting it to a different frequency that is probably outside the spectrum of the vanilla radios and thus you won't hear someone broadcasting with a um, with a different radio on a platoon channel and uh, next thing in the menu we ha well that we have is encryption key uh, by default all radios have a static encryption key which is different for each faction radios um, if for whatever reason you would like to change that you can switch to custom and with an, in the next menu you can set up a number based encryption key that will be applied when you enter it and if for, for whatever reason you made a mistake while inputting a new encryption key you can clear it with clear key and if it, if you don't want to change your current custom key all you have to do after inputting some numbers is to clear it and either hit clear once again that will put you back to the frequency screen or press enter again that will that way you will go back to the custom key section That's all of the menus. Now let's go back to the frequency screen. On this screen you also can change your frequencies by using the pre, plus and minus keys. Which is the same thing as holding G and using your scroll wheel. Additionally, the radio has five presets which you can switch with the knob it will automatically update the frequency that you are using and 
if you want, you can reprogram that preset by just switching the frequency while it's selected. So let's turn it to, of course, the only rightful frequency. Let's switch to the first position. Since I had it customized previously, it's already different. And let's switch back to the fifth position and it's 69, as God intended. Additionally, if you have different spare batteries, you will be able to swap out the battery without detaching this one and attaching the next one. It will be simply a next action called attach battery and it will show the percentage percentage charge of that ba battery. And of course, if you remove the battery, the radio will turn off. That's all for this little preview. The current stage of the radio is very close to the final and we need to fix a few little bugs that we managed to find and do some additional play tests in order to see if it's not gonna break under uh, multiplayer conditions and we'll see if that goes well, then probably we'll be close to the release date. That's all. Goodbye.